So that's what salt does naturally. It heals, it melts ice, it heats up, warms things, it exfoliates, it kills germs, it purifies, it preserves, it flavors. And God says, and you, this is the job description. Be salt. Be salt. Watch this. And he says, you're the only salt I got. So, so, so if this is what it does in the natural, he wants us to do that in the spiritual. Like be salt, be a preservative, be the world is decaying, be a preservative, make things taste better. Walk into bland situations and sprinkle something on it and say, that's how you do that. You understand what I'm saying? Not in arrogance, but just because you bring salt, you bring flavor to a situation. You bring healing, you bring purification. In fact, salt is not just supposed to be pure, salt purifies. See, a lot of Christians just want to be pure. I'm just trying to live right, doing the best I can to live right. No, you're not just supposed to be pure. You're supposed to purify, which means you go into impure situations and your presence and your influence purifies. But see, we don't want to go into some situation where we might be rejected, where somebody might talk about us, somebody might persecute us because we're so busy trying to be careful instead of trying to be salt. But salt, wherever salt goes, it goes in there to dominate. 